And this is going to be my video on how to do laundry. First, you want to open your lid and make sure that there's nothing in your washer. And then you're going to want to sort your clothes between like darks, lights, whites, and towels. I mean, some people don't sort theirs between towels and stuff, but I prefer to. And you're going to put them in your washer. Try not to cover up the thing in there. You want to try to get it to where it will be balanced so your washer don't go crazy on you. That's all the towels I have. So then you're going to want to get your downy and your gain, your detergents. I mean, I, these are just the ones I prefer. And then you're going to want to open where you put your detergents in. You put your fabric softener in this one, your detergent here, and bleach or color safe bleach right here if that's if you prefer to use that, but I'm out. So, and if you've got an HE washer, you want to use like the detergents and bleach and fabric softeners that are made for HE. But what you're going to do is you're going to have to pour this to like the one or the two mark on the inside of the cap, depending on how big your load is, which mine's not real big, so we'll pour it to about the two mark. And then you're going to want to pour it in right here where I showed the detergent. Make sure you get it all in there. And then you're going to want to do the same with your fabric softener if you want to put fabric softener in. Just pour it till like the first or second mark. I do first with fabric softener. And then you're going to want to pour it in. And then you need to close your dispenser back and shut your lid. And well, you pour your bleach in right here too if you want to use bleach. And then my washer, you just have to turn it on. And if you want a normal wash, you do here casual, bulky, heavy duty, rinse and spin, drain and spin. Um, a clean washer with a fresh to clean your washer and you can do delicate or a quick wash or just normal which is what I always use and then it automatically picks the things for you but if you want to you can change it from hot water warm water cool water or cold water by pressing this button but I always wash with warm you can do your soil level, which is light, medium, heavier, extra heavy, but these are my towels, so I'm going to do medium. Then your spin speed, which is um, how fast you want your things to spin. You can do high, low, or no spin if you don't want any spin at all. And you can hit this button right here if you want them to rinse the second cycle. And then this needs to be marked if you put fabric softener in. But if you didn't, then that's fine. Don't mark it. But then you just need to press the start button. And it will lock your lid to where you can't open it. And then you just wait until the wash cycle was done. But So once the cycle is done, you would take your articles out. Of the, dryer, of the washer and you'd put them in the dryer like this and then just put all your clothes in there you would check your lint make sure it's clean if it's dirty you need to clean it off and throw it away and then stick your lint tray back in <clears throat> Then you would get a well, you get a fabric softener, throw it in, and you shut your door. <clears throat> then you get um, different cycles on your 
dryer too, but so you need to press power. And I always dry on normal dry because it just senses them to see if they're wet or not. And um, you can do a temperature of high, medium, low, or an air dry. Then you can do wrinkle shield, you can turn it on or off. You can do a cycle signal, which is on or off, which just tells you when your cycle's done. And then you get more normal dry, more dry. You can do a time dry from 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40, 50, 60, and 70. Then you can do less dry or then normal dry. And then you just hit start and your clothes will start drying. And that's how you do laundry.